hi family welcome back to my youtube channel this is going to be a very interesting video because it's going to talk about 2023 predicted makeup trends and yeah i actually found a video on tiktok that is talking about this 2023 makeup trend so i'm gonna do my eyebrows as we watch that video so let's just watch the video hurriedly because we need to know we need to know what are these trends in 2023 these are my makeup trend predictions for 2023. Thank you to whoever suggested this video, but I couldn't find your comment to pin. I'm so sorry, but this is also my opinion. I won't hammer that home because y'all had a lot to say about that when I did that before. Friend number one, which all started out with this photo here. I think we are getting into big, bold, glossy lips. We kind of already have been heading that way, but I feel like a lot of people are going to opt out of the liquid lipsticks, like matte liquid lipsticks, and go for this. Like, Hailey Bieber uploaded this picture and literally everyone on the internet fucking flipped their shit. Next up, we have pencil eyeliner, specifically instead of liquid liner. I feel like we're kind of like liquid linered out and people are going to be reaching for this iconic early 2000s pencil liner moment, especially with the frosted eyeshadow. Like if that came back to you, I'd be like, yes. Moving on to the ultra curled spider lash look. Now I'm talking more curled than this, okay? I'm talking the higher the lash, the closer to Jesus, okay? That's what I'm talking about. But this is all thanks to Alex Earl's viral curling lash video. Oh my gosh, I'm explaining this really badly, but you're picking up what I'm putting down. And she uses the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which that mascara, girl, it can get clumpy, it can get spidery, and that's just the direction we're heading for. And honestly, I'm kind of here for it. Moving on to the no foundation look. Now I'm not talking like the no foundation foundation look like you're still wearing foundation. I'm talking none of it. Zippo. No, we don't want it. No, I'm just kidding. I still love a good foundation, but I feel like we're heading in that direction with the clean girl makeup look. And then like people are obsessed with freckles. And I feel like people are just getting more. Okay, you guys have basically seen everything that she has mentioned and including the lashes, the no foundation, and whatever. And that was my worst. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I do not know. Anyway, I'm, I've just taken my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and that's the shade Caramel. I've mixed it in with a little bit of yellow because I just want a plain yellow base and I'm just applying it all over my eyelid because I just want something boring because clearly we've been told we are not going to use... Uh, where? What's happening to my voice? Now we've clearly been told we are not going to use any foundation. Therefore, any extremely bold eyeshadow is just going to look really awkward with no foundation, to be honest. So, yeah, and basically I'm just taking another brownish shade, brownish maroony shade, and I'm just applying it in the outer corner of my eyelid just to create a little bit of dimension to my eyes. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Let's get back to the predicted 2023 makeup trends and to be honest I'm not liking that video at all because almost everything she said is just going to go against me. Anyway, moving on after all we survived the soap bra era and you know and probably I think the soap bra era is going to continue but we are still surviving it. Little lashes next to no lashes we survived it so basically i'm going to outline my eye as usual the way if you've been following me on this channel you know that i line both my water lines upper and lower and then i've just put on some lashes okay i'm talking the higher the lash the closer to jesus okay that's what i'm talking about so i did pick the lashes that look very spidery because my natural lashes cannot do that and then next is the problem this is the problem here no foundation like guys how am i gonna survive without foundation you know that you people know that i have to use foundation i have to <laughs> on to the no foundation look now i'm not talking like the no foundation foundation look like you're still wearing foundation i'm talking none of it zippo no we don't want it the best part about all this is that she never mentioned concealer so at least we get to keep something so i've just applied my normal concealer my illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade phone and i've used it to like highlight the areas that i want highlighted i'm very sad about the foundation though my voice may not sound sad but i'm terribly 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 sad about the foundation because you guys know that i struggle with hyperpigmentation and you know that that foundation gives you a flawless finish anyway either way if this is the makeup trend i'm telling you i hey to be honest i'm not going this time around i'm not going with the trends because clearly i'm not going to leave foundation ah no way jose so over here as you guys can see i'm just lining my lips with a black lip pencil because i need to line my lips my lips too thick and i need to line them and i normally line the interior of my lips depending on the situation um if it's the x shape i line the interior yeah 
and then i'm just going to blend that out with a brush before i apply my lipstick and as you guys saw she said that the lipstick is glossy but clearly this is not a glossy lipstick because i'm using the maybelline uh, superstay matte yeah superstay matte no, i was about to say matte inks not the matte inks this is the just the maybelline superstay lipsticks and this is the shade uh, can i remember the shade i'm gonna write the name somewhere but i'm just blending that in don't worry we're gonna gloss it up i mean it looks gorgeous right it does yeah but i'm just i'm just going to add a gloss on top of that because um yeah that's clearly a matte lipstick and she clearly 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 stated that it has to be like shiny and glossy yeah and then i've just applied my crayola lip and cheek color in the shade mango mango tango yeah and i've just dabbed it in with like a beauty blender and then now i'm going to do a small contour on my nose and then i'm going to powder the hell out of my face i nearly used a powder foundation but that would be cheating <laughs> for real i nearly used a powder foundation and i knew that 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 would be cheating so i just decided to do a setting powder so i'm basically using a setting powder and i believe it was the maybelline uh setting powder fit me powder which is a setting powder not a powder foundation and i have just and i need to make a video on the difference between those setting powders and the uh powder foundations there must be a difference i mean why why is one called foundation and the other one called um, a setting powder anyway yeah moving on we are doing blush powder blush big bold glossy lips we kind of already have been heading that way but i feel like a lot of people are going to opt out of the liquid lipsticks like matte liquid lipsticks and go for this like i'm using the revlon vinyl lip polish just to gloss up the lipstick and this is the final look guys i feel stunning i feel amazing and the trace of the hair is making me look like a 1980s male rock star member of a rock band anyway guys thank you so much for guys for watching i honestly do not like the no foundation trend and i hope that it doesn't take root i beg and i cross my fingers it doesn't take root give me anything skin tint whatever give it to me i need it even if it's a lightweight foundation i need that foundation thank you so much guys for watching bye